Grinders, you know who it is. Your boy Pokeringer back on the grind, back on the sprint to 5K. Guys, this could be the episode where we finish this challenge. We're at $4,500 and $20 with five final tables. Yesterday in the video, we lost three final tables in a row. Today we have five. As you can see, we have some decent stacks. Let's start it right away because we all know this could take a while to get going. We're going to go orange. And we're actually going to, let's switch our background up tonight. Let's celebrate with this. We still have some coffee mugs for a bit. They're going to probably take that away soon. Um, but before we get started, always guys, hope your grind's going well. Hope you're making your own bankrolls. I hope I've inspired you guys to start building it up. You don't have to play the Grand Tour. You can play whatever you want. But it's pretty cool to turn a little bit of money into a larger sum of money. If you didn't catch our first series, well, we've done a couple. But our last one was... 300 to 3,000 then we started this one with 3,000 to 5,000 and we could finish it now if we win two of these is a good chance it's done um, If we win three, I think for sure it's over um, It really depends these all these games too, guys all were from the $12 all of them um, I took the day off the 25s to see how it worked and it's very little you're it really minimizes your risk. If you play the 25s, you're going to get to a lot of final tables, but you need to win those because it adds up very fast. I think the 12s is very safe. Um, I just want to show you the knockouts. Someone won $12,000 and 900 $500 and 21 335 335 270 226 Our biggest one is bigger than it once was. It is now $137.52 on Boxing Day. So we got a K, our biggest KO on Boxing Day. Shout out to that. Um, for you spin and go lovers, you can still always come over here to observe. And then if you go to observe, you can see the big um, big, big spin and goes. If you ever come down here, uh, you'll see if there's ever a million dollar winner and all that. Um, I'm really shocked this million dollars has been at 10 for so long. Like that makes me think it hasn't gone off. I, I haven't been following spin and goes. But um, like this has been here for like six months at least, which they used to move around all the time. I'm pretty shocked it hasn't done that. Um, but uh, pretty pretty cool um, stuff they got going on right now. The challenges I think are pretty weak for what we play. If you're a spin and go lover, they're, they're still really good to play, especially if you play the $50 one. So much value here. Um, oh, we got some throwable. We can try to unlock this. Play. Okay, I don't know what that just happened there. Every time I click play, it disappears, so it's probably a glitch. Somehow, I'll oh, play 21 hands of, of Zoom, or... Um, I wonder if we have to... Maybe we just press play. Oh, it says we're in progress. So we have to play 21 hands of Zoom. We could do that while we're waiting. You guys want to crush this challenge out? Let's do it. So also, there's some tournament stuff, but these are all for spin and go players. We have time to kill, so while we're waiting for our games, maybe we'll pause it when they start. Let's go to NL25. And let's crush this challenge. We'll count our hands. Um, I'm going to do it like this, though. And let's get our grand tour. I don't want to get screwed here. Um, I'm going to do it like this. And it's hope hopefully you guys get to see it. Right off the bat, we get three bet. Or sorry, a uh, raise from the button. We're going to defend our 10 queen. We could lose a stack here while we're waiting here. We're not going anywhere with that flop. That turn should slow him down a bit. Um, I could do a blocker bet, but I'm better off just check calling, I think. There we go. We're in the green, baby. So that's one hand. What does it say? 22 hands or something? Look how good my memory is. I already forgot. So you guys are getting to see me get to 5K. Tonight's the night. Um, apparently, I don't know how to open this. We need to play... Oh, 20, 21 hands. Boom. Um, this is probably not even a call, to be honest. Under under the gun, me calling here is actually this is this would be a fold. I haven't played Zoom Poker in a while, but this is very loose. Yeah, this is what happens. We're gonna get it a harm's way there. Um, oh, my HUD's working for this hook. Sorry, I'm already pretty tired. Um, been a busy day. It's only nine o'clock, but been a busy one. We could just fold these and get this challenge done. All it is is another throwable. We could th throw uh, something at someone. Yeah, it really sucks when it takes this long to start. 
Um, it makes me want to two table them, but because it's so important for us to concentrate on those final tables, um, I don't want to speed it up just because of the length of the video. We're going to go for a three bet here. So there's antis now in this zoom. That makes things interesting. I should have sized this up. This is a very small raise preflop for when there's antis involved. Oh, yeah, we're going to be betting that. We can actually go quarter pot here. Fold equity and also uh, we could check back a lot of turns. So I don't know how much this is up. We're up. Uh, okay, now we're playing. So let's go to sit out next hand. Good luck. That guy can have that game, and we're going to concentrate on our... Of course, we're playing Worm. GTFT. All right, guys. We are one big victory away, one big knockout away. We're in that, we're in that distance that if something big happens... Some, I've never had a $500 win, but maybe tonight's the night. We're definitely going to float with King High here. Ooh, that's a good card. Hopefully it goes check, check here. Aces will still bet. Pocket pairs will still bet. So we're going to have to call him down here for sure. We beat King Queen now. Let's try to slow him right down. He's probably going to bet here. All right, guys, we went 0 for 3 in last night's video. Let's see how we do tonight. And we didn't even get any knockouts. We had, oh, sorry, we had <clears throat> one knockout out of three games for like 25 bucks. So I would have to think with five final tables, we'll get more than that for knockouts. This is a very bad board for him to to see bet on. It's, yeah, I think we have to size this up here. Problem is, all his things are going to float too. Is uh, if he had Ace King, he'd he'd call there. I wonder if he had like a low pocket pair or something like that, like pocket fives, pocket sixes. Okay, we're gonna defend King Five here, or sorry, we didn't even have to defend it, but we're gonna see a flop. I think our King's pretty strong right here, even if he bets, we're never folding. Hmm. There we go, choppy chop chop. gonna be a long video this is awfully slow but if it's our last video let's make it a good one to give you an idea of the samples size I play uh, this month we have played I just updated it 2614 tournaments at the Grand Tour here um, so that gives you a bit of an idea it's 28 days into December here. So if we played the rest of the month, we'd be at 3,000 for this month. I think that sucks here. I'm floating with King High here. His C bet's going to be any ace, but we also block his floating hands. Um... So it kind of it's kind of a shit card for us to float with there. Wish I had the king of clubs, but 
So we're a little too strong just to give up that flop, just to, especially to a solid player. If you guys don't know Worm by now, he's a GT regular. All right. Yeah, so I've had, uh, seen some comments, some people not liking the Grand Tour. It's not for everyone, man. Big variance. Um, some people say it's not beatable. Um, obviously, I disagree with, with my results. Um, but you don't have to start at the top, guys. Like, if you want to start at the ones here, it's only risking you $1. And then you're free rolling the rest of the tournaments. Like, uh, to say it's not beatable, I've seen some comments where people say it's impossible to beat. Um... I just think uh, people don't want to be honest with their games. But if you start down here, uh, and let's say you have $1,000 in your bankroll, like you have to be a pretty bad player to lose lose a bankroll only playing at the $1. If you ever get to the 25s once and you get like a knockout, or if you win one final table, like you're free rolling for 300 buy-ins or something, like, um, I don't know. I think if you're starting at the 12s or even the 5s or, or, or higher, like obviously it can add up very, very quick. You could you could lose 50, 80 binds, uh, no problem. But uh, people just don't want to drop down fast enough. So, you know, a lot of people start these with $100 in their account and they start at the 5s and then they get down to like 30 or $20 and they move down. Well, it's a little too late. All right, guys, we are short stacked here. We're going to look for an all in hand to double up. This is it. We can't fold any position here. They're going to jam a little wider with how low we are. Here would suck the most, obviously, but against Worm, because low pocket pairs, weaker aces, yeah, so this is this is the worst, worst thing. Ace nine is actually very close now. Sucks to have him, uh, reg, uh, to have him aggressive, but. I started off saying I'd never fold this, but I actually think I almost have to now. A weaker ace doesn't do this. It just goes all in. Lower pocket pairs goes all in. You know what, man? I'm just going to rethink this. It's on the tighter side for you guys at seven big blinds, but what what hand does a small raise there? It's so polarizing, right? Like ace two, ace three, ace four, ace five. They're not doing that. They're just going all in. You have to have like ace king, ace queen, or a high pocket pair, even pockets, you know, in pocket nines and and lower, maybe even pocket tens and lower, just go all in. Um, especially if, like I've played this guy 291 hands. I haven't seen him do something like that and get out of line. So um, that's why it's, it's nice to play one table and think things through. If I was multi tabling there and not talking, I just would have snap called. Or like, like uh, sorry, I would have reshoved there. It would have been uh, kind of perceived as a cooler, but when you think it out, it's not really a cooler. But I'm sure I'll get comments. People are going to say that's a call. All right, Woody, what do you got? What do you got, Woody? Let's uh, see you do a little check here. Check your three. bad card for us to call on we are down to 3.87 big blinds now we're down to 2.87 now we have to call no matter what happens Here we go, Worm. Let's do it. Choppity chop chop. I don't mind that, getting our big blind back. So if it's big and small blind, we have to shove, I think. Now we, now we fold. But if we were heads up there, we would have shoved. These are the spots I think too many players panic and they go all in a little sooner. All right, ace. Ace from space, baby. 
That's uh, pretty scary there. Uh, spade, spade, four. All right, we lose our first one. No biggie. Um, we can go back to our Zoom poker. All right, let's see if we can get one started right away and let's mix it up. Let's go back to it. Okay, while we're waiting for that, let's, uh, oh yeah, we'll do it like that. I'm back. All right, so when that starts, we'll know. So I can even center this for you guys. Look at that. Maybe a little confusing for some of you, but we're just trying to play our 21 hands here. I think once you're done the challenge, this little bullseye thing will have a check mark or uh Pocket Kings. We're gonna size it up with these bounties here. Sorry, these uh, Annie in the middle. All right, are we? Uh, we're four betting for Shizzle. Could be. Oh, now what are we doing here? Let's try to do. Uh, All right, our final table starting too, but we got kings here. This could be all in here. Oh, nice. All right, we take down. I don't mind. I don't mind that. All right, guys, this is a better final table, much better. Friend of the channel here. Don't bluff him. And we have a red player. I'm actually going to check this back here and when this is the, one of those flushes where you check this back and when you hit a flush they never they never put you on it but you don't want to bet in front of two people this type of board i'm going to check it one more time here now this is interesting we can't represent much but if they check check i'm going to over bet i think check so i don't think if he's strong he checks this twice so I'm not really representing much, but I just don't think something here will call me. I'm trying to get ace highs and stuff to fold. There we go, guys. Um, it's very strange for someone to check super, super strong on, on the GT levels, uh, to check a strong hand on the turn there. I was nervous with this guy, uh, front of the channel and stuff but open jams any ace here's an all-in let's see if my notes are right there's an ace open jams any ace my notes is right looks like we're losing the white boy blue balls I should I check it? I think we're good now. I'm gonna just go check call here. Spade, uh, flush miss. He can try to stab at it, but four or five did get there. He still could have a weak ace. 10 2. There's the flush. So that's the type of hand. Because he picked up a pair, he decided not to bet. I think if he didn't have a pair, he'd try to. He had zero equity. He might have tried to steal it. Nice hand, nice hand. Just so many things missed. The uh, hearts missed, the uh, straight, if he had a 10, missed. Still some ace highs. Um, but it didn't cost us much to find out. Okay. 
Guys, we gotta get a win, man. This is nuts. How many final tables are we gonna get to? All right, let's dance. We doing this? I'm gonna check it back. He won't put me in a king. It's an amazing card for us. Jax will call now. Aces will still call. Okay, so we're good here. Well, that's very strange. I think we have to put them all in, to be honest. Just because the bounty. If it wasn't a bounty tournament, I wouldn't. But his Jax aren't gonna fold. But I think he might. He might just fold here. Oh, it tripped. <laughs> okay, my read was completely off. Full house. Nice hand. His see, his jacks won't fold. Told you that. A nice hand, sir. Nice hand. So this is close, but I actually think we're gonna let it go because how deep they are, they're gonna call um, with almost like he can call me with almost any random two and any random two there were not in the best of shape. If they were lower, lower in chips, then I could jam there but I think with their chip stack sizes that uh all right guys we got him we got him beat there now we got to get there lose another one all right I still think we're playing solid we have our biggest ones left so look at that last one we're going in the last one with $95 so let's see if we can finally turn these final table lucks around if we go three for three here guys The challenge is still over. This is, good. this is a new regular last uh, few days. Me and him have been battling lots. Oh, we've talked once or twice. A nice guy. Super aggressive. This guy here is uh, a player I love to have at all my final tables. Going to take an aggressive line. Don't like to do it too often, but against him I'm going to do this. I have the ace of clubs, which helps. The only problem is king, queen and stuff is a big hand's going to call my three bets with, but I still think if we check there, we're almost waving the white flag. And this guy calls, uh, he could be calling me with any two cards there. All right, guys. not fold in here let's drop the two of diamonds he's gonna check it he's gotta check with his eight now right there's the two his king could have got equity i'm gonna do a blocker bet guys i'm gonna bet three here hard for a king to raise us queen jack we chopped it all right guys here's the kings we're gonna knock out this red guy he's gonna come over top of us with ace five all in okay he is let's get a double booty all right, guys, aces isn't doing that. All right, let's hold. It's a big hold here. Could have a chip lead. There we go. It's blue. We'll take it, though. At this point, we'll take anything. $19 richer. Our bounty is $104. Let's go. A horrible flop that's a good turn card now we want to try to stack them when the ten of spades hits Is Jack look at this okay we're actually gonna bet this with this type of board here all his draws his sevens is gonna call this guy's gonna float with so much too could jam us some players I checked there but against him I'm not checking he's too call happy to, to fold there it's an interesting board. Back to back trick trips. So here I'm gonna raise his diamonds are gonna call now. So 
Sorry, I know my keyboard's really loud. I'm not too happy. I just bought it too. That's a shit part. But I, I feel more in the zone when I use my hotkeys. When I just use my mouse, I know it sounds crazy, but I don't feel like I'm the same player. It's a pretty good card for us. The fuck is betting pot here? Check it. <laughs> Are you making a hero call? That's pot. That's just a bad card or bluff earn. Every single thing has him crushed here. Oh man. Ah, he's got he's got the goods, guys. It's really hard in those spots when you really don't respect someone. I just think he's such a bad player. That's why I lean towards calling. But like a good player would know that's a horrible card to bluff. But what went through my head was like this guy's not even seen something like that. Him betting pot there was was. Uh, Was the play that fucked me there? His queens and stuff. He's not gonna fold too much here. All right. I thought he had equity by checking that flop. He's the type of player that uh, I think his bluffs would just bet. But if he had like a, a queen jack or something like that, he would check it. So I think we're gonna limp in here. We have obviously him crushed here. If we can see a flop in position for this i'm happy to do that to try to get the bounty here and then look at this we can just take this down by doing this i think his kings and jacks would just go all in pre-flop okay bootylicious time prefer him to fold and we'll call him 15 bigs is a little deep especially him tanking here oh sit out and let's stack this guy Guys, this is the video. We're getting to 5k tonight. Feeling it. It's a long one, but it's for a good one. It is the end. We are at 5k as of tonight. It is going down in the club. This is the advantage of being deep stacked right here. If we were about 17, 15 big blinds, we couldn't do this. But um, we're so deep here. They can't just punt it off when, I'm, when, I, when I have them covered here. I can see a lot of flops for dirt cheap, and I'm in position here. I can check. I can steal them. The two and the three on the board here is not a board I want to check, especially when I have an inside straight to the nuts. If I hit it, I can get get this. Okay, that's a very good card for us. We're going to bet 1.5. Told ya. Okay, eight jack guys. If he folds, we will call any all in by this guy. Even though we'd be behind, most likely. Um, we'd have to have a chance to try to get a booty. So this is a shit spot. Oh, we just such a bad spot to fold here, but... All right, let's get it. There's that ace, we got turned.
Guys, we're not hitting much, are we? But we're still taking down some pots. Oh man, I just want to put pressure on this and I just can't. All right. Fold one hand, would you? All right, I think we have to come over the top of them. Not totally thrilled about it, but we can't let this go. It does so well. We're going to get there. Look at this, guys. Don't do it to us. Come on, baby. We got the victory. Double knockout. Double blue balls. But we'll take it, guys. We'll get our first win of in a while here. Well, pretty big booty. Ours will be pretty high here. $178. So we got over $200 there, guys. For a while, you guys were losing faith, weren't you? 263 from the $12. So we are at 4723 with our two biggest ones out. Pour yourself a drink. Your boy is feeling it. We get a rematch against him. We get the Bart Simpson. GTFT buys from 60. All right, guys, this could be the game. Our last one, we're going in with $95. So we're going to have over 30 big blinds. Hmm, that's very interesting. Oh, yeah, we're so taking this down. Told ya. So guys, when there's open end flush draws and all that, very hard for him to check a queen or a jack on that board. Very, very, very hard. He has to have a set at best to be checking there. He's not going to check his two pairs. He's not going to check his one pair. So there's just too many things to catch him. And he wants you to, um, he wants you to be chasing it and, and make money while you're chasing it. So it doesn't make sense. Enough players don't... Uh, check strong hands there because it's just too risky for them, right? And they want you, you know, building up the pot, chasing it. We're going to call an all in here for a flip against pocket sixes. Okay, we're going to check this back, though. This is not a good board, and I love that we have backdoor not flush. There it is. Okay, let's build this up, almost like a, a bluff, almost. All right, guys, we are chip leader, and we are a win away. Oh, yeah, we're a win. It'd be, you know, two, 280 buck win. We'd be, oh, with the knockout, so. Yeah, man, if we, and our stack, yeah, if we, if we win this game, it should be over. Pocket sevens. We are limp trapping the red player. He raises us. We are jamming him. Here he goes, three, two, one. Oh. Not a good flop either, but we'll lead out. Decent turn. Nope. King two. Boo. Boo. All right. We are jamming everyone here, guys. We have the whole table covered. We have ace-king suited here. We're playing super aggressive. Bart doesn't know us. He called us these two. Let's get a hold. Let's get a hold. Yes. It is blue, but we have the chip lead. Calabunga dude. See you later, Bart. We are over $100. $106. That's hard. When you're If you're Bart there... Let's say he's never played me. I didn't look how many hands we played. But when you're seeing a guy play that aggressive uh, and they wake up with a hand, it's so it's so t uh, stressful. Now, mind you, they haven't seen all my hands, but if you think about it from his point of view, from what he saw, he just sees this guy betting, 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 betting. So he finally has, you know, he finally gets a hand and then uh, the loose, crazy guy on the table wakes up with a hand. But just because you perceive someone as a bad player, always keep in mind, just because they're bad doesn't mean they can't wake up with hands right so ace two there was still uh we're a little deep to be going all in there
His ace highs are going to call us. His nines are going to call us. Pocket pairs will still call us. I could just jam here if there are stack size. I probably should just jam here, shouldn't I? I'm going to let them both get back in it, though. Man, we're getting a piece of every pie. Check it. Check it. Oh, our fast play scared him blocker bet. Guys, we're in the driver's seat. This could be it. Oh my gosh. We were going to jam almost any two cards besides 5-2. If we had 10 jack, 10 nine, any ace, any Broadway. Like, uh, like we had them all covered here. There are chip stacks. We're supposed to jam so wide there. Here it is, guys. Pocket fives. Big hold here. Here it is. Let's win a flip. Let's win a flippy flippy. Here it is. There's the five. Give us yellow. Give us yellow, purple, gold. It's blue. It's blue, guys. But this could be it, man. We're down to one player. Can we get to 5K? We're at 141. We're going for a limp trap here. We've been so aggressive. He's aggressive. Here he goes. Ace jack against pocket threes. There's the jack. This is brick, 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 brick. Be yellow, purple. It's blue, man. Blue ball king to win it. Guys, it's going to be fucking close. And we still have a $95 one waiting. Back-to-back -back wins after... Did we have three? No, two losses. And then back-to-back -back wins. Huge win for us. $261, but we had knockouts, guys. We are at, ready? $493, but does this matter if we have this? This be this because of that. So I just closed our, I just closed our, uh, our, our, our other table. We could be over that. Okay, so we have Dusty Truth, Dusty Truth, and now we're starting up this one. I wouldn't be surprised if that calculates in a second. That could all of a sudden... That could all of a sudden... Uh, we could be over five grand right now. That takes a second for it to get, get our money back from our... from our. Uh... Sorry, what am I trying to say, man? The Zoom poker. We are one or two knockouts away here. How close can you be, man? There is the grass for the month. Pretty darn close to even. And we ran hot today. Look at this. Today's been super hot. Yesterday was super cold. You're going to see these were super cold days. Doesn't look much when you're looking at a scale like this. Here we made a lot of money. But then, dude, when you lose this much and your yellow line, you're playing so consistent. And this green line, you're just losing money, making money, losing money, making money. Um, it's pretty crazy, right? So no, we, we would have had it by now, I would think. So we are, whatever that is, $16 or 15 and change away. Now guys, I have coins here that, if we get a one small knockout, sorry, we still have hands here, but if we get one small knockout, um, we have $10 in coins. Um, we could sell this for ten dollars. So if we get a knockout for like, you know, I don't mind doing it. That's what we've earned that in uh, in rake back, right? So we might as well use it for something. Ninety five, our biggest stack of the day. Can we go three in a row? I'm still thinking for some reason. Back of my mind, that's just gonna pop off over five grand in a second here. Because I was I was sitting out and I didn't finish my big blind there makes me sometimes think that uh so if i go to my stars will it show if i'm on a table somewhere i missed this free roll yesterday or when is it that's tomorrow is that tonight oh, yeah i missed a free roll today i never get to play these man they're at the worst times and it takes so fucking long how long is this video half me wants to save this for do I break this down in two parts? Nah, we're doing it in one. Okay, let's uh, let's observe our competition. This guy is a crazy player. He, he runs very well against me. He's uh, I have mixed feelings about him, but uh, 
he came back to me today. I had like literally 40 or 50 big blinds and he was like at two or three big blinds um, for me to go into a final table. It was at the 25s and he came back and beat me. The guy won like fucking 10 all-ins, man. I was so rattled. I'm always dehydrated, but I'm even more so today. Me and my son were in my uh, father-in-law's workshop. We cleaned up a whole bunch of sawdust for him. And we were vacuuming and sweeping and I got all this dust in my eyes and my throat. All right, guys. How close are we? Fucking close. Anyone who's good in the comments, I, I've never known how to do this, but I know you can time st stamp. Someone wants to hook me up and write down what time each final table was at. Maybe that'll help some of you guys. Okay, we might be starting now. He gets gray balls. All it took, man, if we had every knock, it was a blue jersey, man. If we had one yellow one, one gray one, one purple one, this challenge would have been over, but your boy is the blue ball king for life. We all know that. Come on, let's do this. I'm freaking ready to rock. Here we are. We're playing it, guys. This is it. Drum roll. And it's the best table ever. Not one solid reg. Two players who have built the way up from somewhere we've never played, which is an amazing sign. What a way to end it. Feeling we get pocket fives. I'm not taking a flip, though. Not like that. All right, let's hit it. Let's just flop it. Let's just flop it. All right, five of diamonds. Ooh. We're gonna float. He's gonna check it and we're gonna take down the pot. No, now we're going to get out of here. Uh, we're going to check it. Two players in the ring played one hand about. How crazy is that for a final table? That's insane, man. Ah! Newbie. All right, let's see how we do this, guys. My man's on a rampage here. Could be just jamming any ace. Look at this. Look at this. He's not folding ever there. Queen eight. Are you kidding me, bro? What's going on right now? There goes one player. We are two players away from our 5K, guys. We had, I told you, these two players that have never been here showed their skills pretty fast. Okay, this is very polarizing, but we have to defend. It's going to be betting hard here. We're not going to float. It's too bad. Got to make a comeback, but that's fitting. I'm down for the comeback. Hiya. Nice. Man, we are bricking everything. Oh, 
Under 10 big blinds, guys. We are so friggin' close. Oh, man. Give us a friggin' head. All right, man. We have to do it. He's going to call us wide. Ace, we need hearts. We need a six. Oh, man. We're out. We need, we need a six. Guys, how can you be this close? We lose to a rookie and everything. We are $16 away, guys. Um, we could buy it and be even a little closer here. We earn this money. But, you know, we'll save it for the next video. Guys, I hope you smash the like button. Put in the comments one challenge we tried to get to $1,000 or maybe it was 200 to 2000 We were $2 away. We went on a downswing. Now we are $16 away. Or Sorry, my math is I'm fucking tired here. Is it 26? We're 26 dollars away. Um, will we get to 5k? Will it be on stream? I pretty much got to show you every session now because anything can happen. But smash like button, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. And we'll close this bitch out. Peace.